<laughs> so what inspires you more? People that, of your generation, people that you grew up with, or was there people that you looked up to? Were there, were there recordings that you listened to? What was the thing that sort of inspired you? Never recordings and never um, other people, apart from one recording of um, the only recording I ever listened to growing up was um, Black Dyke playing The Essence of Time at the uh, European Championships. And probably the only reason I listened to it was because it was in Falkirk and because it was in Scotland, I probably sort of like went, oh, yeah, I'll have a listen to that. And I always remember listening to Sandy Smith play the two solos in Essence of Time and in the back of my head going, I could do that. <laughs> Just not being like really egotistical with thinking I could play that like that and listen to that. But that would probably be the only um, uh, brass recording or, or anything. I listen to singers. Singers are, I love singing um, and singing is, um, I've realized as I've got older that um, my horn playing is actually an extension of my voice as opposed to for lots of years, I thought it was the other way around that my voice was an extension of my horn, but it's actually the other way around. So cause I do a lot of singing with work now and, and yeah. sort of a lot more confident with that. So um, I, I know that now, um, but just in, in general, um, uh, I've just lost my track. I've just lost my track. Where were we going with that? In, in terms of whether it's people, peers, peers or, peers. or instructors. So, yeah. so from a very young age, uh, age sort of 18, 19, I was thrown into the most incredible band, Yorkshire Building Society band, who had probably at the time some of the, the most astounding soloists and voices of those particular instruments that remain even now um, iconic really from sort of all that time ago and I grew up listening and playing with them where I was probably the worst principal player in the band for many many years you know when you sort of look at it you know people like Morgan Griffiths, Pete Roberts, Ewan Williams you know all these these guys they're absolutely incredible so I learned from listening to them because it was so intense. And then obviously David was my teacher and conductor and all, all also a phenomenal cornet player. And This is um, David King for the listeners David, as well, in case yeah, they're not yeah, aware of that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he would play um, in my lessons at university and all that time when I, I was playing in the band, he played to me all the time because he was still playing his con at um, a very high level then when I first met him. And um, so so I was just surrounded by this, uh, even at university, you know, you played in our university band. We had, you know, you were a trombone player. We had just, Glenn Williams was our solo euphonium. Ben Grod Godfrey was our principal cornet. These guys who have all gone on, everyone's gone on to, to be the top of their profession, their instruments, haven't they? And and we, we grew up with these kids. We were all kids. So I think that was such a special um, experience to have where you're young you're all young you're all starting out and you all grow together and you you sort of hit and learn off each other so for me it was undoubt I think it's quite a an unusual experience I don't think many people will have experienced that to that depth and that level um but for me I am totally the player I am today because of listening to those players and learning from them and um uh, David yeah without a doubt 